So there are many things that we already have in the spirit. There are many things that God has already blessed us with in the heavenly places. But it's time we move from celebrating that God sent his son and he died for us, which is great. That's the provision. But we now have to move from provision to possession. We now need to lay hold of what God said he has given us. If God says, I have blessed you and in blessing you are blessed, we now need to lay hold of the blessing. If God has said that I've given you healing, we can't be always on our knees saying, God, please heal me. It's time you get up and say, now I'm taking what belongs to me. We are about to move from... I really need to speak about the Mount Moriah. Mount Moriah is a very important mountain because that's a mountain that we're going to deal with when we look at Isaac. Moriah is a significant mountain in the Bible. Many times we don't see it because we don't follow through. What happened at Moriah is that the first thing, it's a mountain of testing where God is going to test Abraham if he will obey his voice. But again, that's, that's dealing with Isaac and Abraham. But Moriah is the same mountain years later that the temple is going to be built on. The the temple is built on Mount Moriah because Moriah is is a place of worship. The reason why he was bringing a sacrifice is to worship God. It's going to be a place of worship. So hear me, we spoke about testing, we spoke about worship, talking about sacrifice. More so, the significant sacrifice that will happen at Moriah is the, the death of Jesus Christ. Moriah is a region where it is, there are mountains. Jesus didn't die exactly on the mountain of Moriah. But Moriah is said, no, Golgotha is said to be a hill from the mount of Moriah. So when Abraham was bringing Isaac up, it was just a metaphor. Can I just... Just side track. I know I don't have time, but I'm just a metaphor. What was happening here is that Moses, uh, 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 Abraham was leading his son up a mountain for a sacrifice. In the same manner that Jesus one day is going to be laid of the Holy Spirit up a mountain to the place of death. So what is happening here is that the lad, who is Isaac, is carrying his own wood where he is going to be sacrificed. And when Jesus has to go up to the mountain of Golgotha to die. He has to carry his own cross to be sacrificed on the same mountain. So what is happening here is that Moriah is a very significant mountain and God is laying principles. But what you need to understand about Moriah is that when Abraham made it to the top of the mountain, on top of Mount Moriah, they says, there at the mount of the Lord, he will provide. Now, who is going to be at the top of the mountain is Jesus Christ. Because now he is coming as Isaac was led on top of the mountain and then substituted with a ram. Jesus is going to carry his own cross, led by the Father, get on top of the mountain, die on the mountain. And from that, everything you need will be provided for. Nothing is going to be missing. There at the mount of the Lord, he will provide. Whatever need you have, if you can get up on top of the mountain of the Lord, if you can ascend the hill of the Most High, if you can get into the presence of the Lord and get a hold of Jesus, you might be sick and hemorrhaging for many years, but if you can only touch the hem of his garment, there your need will be met. You might be blind, but a mess, and you've been blind and you cannot see, but if only you can get to the mount years, they have been carrying this mentality, a childish mentality. God just provide for me. And I'm speaking to a Christian, someone in this place, that your mentality, the reason why you've been coming to church is God give me something. I'm coming so that I can get, 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 get. It's always God, what about this? And when God gives you this, you say, what about that? And every time God provided for them, they would come with another need. And I'm tired of a church just coming before the throne of God and all the they can see is a big fat cow that they're trying to milk. Ah, yeah. We need someone that understands that God has sent us here to do something greater than just asking and pleading and wanting. He sent us here to begin to give. So God said to Moses, a time is coming and now is where we are going to cut the supply and you now have to cross over and take possession of what I have promised. Now, let me show you this. 
When I was a child, Paul said, I thought like a child. All I needed was give me, give me, give me. It doesn't matter whether you have it or you don't have it, just give it to me. I need it because I was a child. But when I became of age, when a child, when, when an heir is still a child, is no different from a slave. When he became of age, he now put aside childish thinking. The church has to move from provision to possession. We have to put away childish thinking. It's no longer about what I need. It's what the kingdom needs. It's no longer about what I want. It's what God wants. And I'm talking to somebody here. It's time you put aside the childish mentality. When I was a child growing up in my father's house, I was happy to know that we've got a roof and I was dreaming, oh, one day I will get my father's house. One day I will get this from my dad. One day you will give me that but that one day never came but I became older and when I became a man I put away childish thinking I said I can't wait for one day when my father biological father is going to give me a, a, a house when my father is going to buy me a car I have to now put away that childish thinking and I'm going to take possession I want my own car I want my own house I am going to take possession of everything the Lord has promised. Watch me now. When, when you become older, you no longer just want, want, want. If you are mature and all you're thinking of is what I need, you need to grow up. You need to now get to a point where you say, I'm about to take possession. I'm about to take something. At 85 years old, a, a, a young old man named Caleb came to Joshua and said, Joshua, I understand mountains and gates. If you can give me that mountain, I will take possession for myself. All along, I needed someone to fight.